Good morning, it's Leah Bosby and Travis Denham here, giving you another weekly update of what's happening in the finance and property industry. Yeah. Good morning. How are you going, Leah? Good, thank you. How are you? Flat out. I, I know. Think you are too. Everybody is. Everyone that does a good job is getting offered a lot of work, which is yeah. exactly why we're busy, which is yeah. good news. So um, we're going to talk today about cooling off um, and what it looks like for people buying and people selling and just what's happening in the background. Yep. So. Um, Travis, it happens every now and then. Yep. Um, it can happen because clients have just changed their mind or a building yeah. inspection, a whole pile of things. Yep. So tell me what happens from your perspective and I'll tell you what sometimes happens to my clients because they think they've missed out and then the next yeah. minute they get a call when we're back in. So yeah. what happens sometimes? Um, it's happening once yesterday and once today. So, <laughs> Which is why it's um, our topic. <laughs> yeah, so yesterday we had a block of land, last block out of three that have been developed. So we saw the first two quickly, last one had two offers grand and a half apart, similar conditions. We went with the higher offer. Um, he was all excited, setting the paperwork, we got the overnight, just got scared. Because yeah. you don't, there's no building inspector or anything when it's land, land is dirt. Um, <laughs> so the young girl that missed out on it was really disappointed, ran it the next day, over the moon, got the deal done. And that's why whenever we, you know, I'm always clear with buyers, it make this, is this your best? Because yeah. You may miss out, and if you do, also keep it really friendly with the buyers because that's those situations happen. Just before we recorded this video, we had three offers on a property that had first open last weekend. Two were very similar. One has just cooled off literally two minutes ago, um, so I'm going to let the vendors know, and then we will go back to the, the person that just missed out. There was only a grand difference between those two offers, so sometimes you miss out. Yep. And then you get it back. And in fact, Emma and I, when we bought our first home, that's exactly what happened. Yeah, okay. We, um, second cab yeah. off the rank. Second cab okay. off the rank, yeah. So it is good. It, it does happen. Um, it's obviously not good news for the people selling their house, but it is sometimes good news, A, that a good agent has got a backup person and he'll keep you up to date. Yeah. And for us as well, we make sure you're still organised with your finance. So because we, we do find clients go, oh, I didn't hear back from the agent. Yeah. Um, and sometimes it's just slow that their yeah. agent's been unindated. Like I know you yeah. had one in the last month when you got... 20 something offers. 28 offers. So sometimes it just takes a little while, or if they do cool off, or they can't get their finance approved, you will find an agent reselling a property. Yep. But if that's been managed properly by someone like Trav and the good operators in the industry, yep. they're ready to go with buyer number two and three. Yep. So yeah. if you have any questions about cooling off, let us know. If you want to understand your rights for cooling off, we've got a conveyancer um, that we trust that can help you as well. Yep. And if you've got any questions about finance or real estate, Give us a call. And if you do buy off me, just don't call off, please. <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> Unless you want to. Um, no, all right, have a good day. Thanks, Any questions, let us know.